The Douglas XB43 jet master, a pioneering jet power bomber from the 1940s, represents a significant chapter in American aviation history. As the first American jet bomber to take to the skies, the XB43 marked an important transitional movement from propeller-driven aircraft to the jet edge. Although the design never entered production, its development provided valuable insights that could influence future bomber designs. The XB-43 Jetmaster originated from the Douglas XB-42 Mixmaster program, which sought a cost-effective medium bomber alternative to the Boeing B-29 Superfortress. The XB-42 was a unique aircraft powered by a pair of Allison V-1710 inline engines arranged in a pusher configuration at the rear of the aircraft. This innovative setup allowed for a streamlined fuselage, enhancing the aircraft's speed and efficiency. However, as jet propulsion began to emerge as the future of aviation, the XB-42's design was adapted to incorporate jet engines, leading to the creation of the XB-43. The XB-43 replaced the XB-42 piston engines with two General Electric J35 GE3 turbojet engines, each producing 4,000 pounds of thrust, equivalent to 17.8 kN. This shift to jet propulsion was a significant leap forward, making the XB-43 the first American jet bomber to fly. Despite its groundbreaking status, the XB-43 faced numerous challenges, including stability issues that ultimately prevented it from entering mass production. The development of the XB-43 was more of an evolutionary step rather than a completely new design. The airframe of the XB-42 was largely retained but significant modifications were made to accommodate the new jet engines. Engineers added intakes on either side of the fuselage, near the wing roots, and the space previously occupied by the pusher propellers at the rear was converted into exhaust spots for the turbojets. The aircraft retained its tricycle landing gear a two-man cockpit and a glass nose section for the bombardier, bringing the crew total to three. The XB-43 was originally designed with defensive armament, including two 50 caliber machine guns in a remote control tail turret, though these were never installed. The aircraft was also capable of carrying up to a thousand pounds of bombs, making it a formidable weapon in theory. One of the most ambitious variants proposed was an attack version potentially designated as the A-43. This version would have replaced the bombardier's position with multiple machine guns in the nose and added provisions for underwing rockets, turning the aircraft into a powerful ground attack platform. The XB-43's development was hindered by several factors, including the limited availability of the General Electric J-35 engines. The program suffered delays, and during ground tests, one of the engines exploded, further setting back the project. Despite these challenges, the XB-43 eventually made its maiden flight on May 17, 1946. By this time, however, World War II had ended, and many experimental military programs were cut back or cancelled due to post-war budget reductions. The second prototype, designated as the YB-43, followed in 1947 
and was fitted with upgraded General Electric J47 engines. Also, the XB43 and YB43 provided valuable data on jet powered bomber design. They were ultimately overshadowed by newer, purpose built jet bombers that emerged in the late 1940s and early 1950s. While the XB-43 Jetmaster never saw operational service, its contribution to aviation were nonetheless significant. The aircraft demonstrated the fierce ability of jet propulsion in a bomber platform and provided important data that influenced subsequent designs. The experience gained from the XB-43's development helped paved the way for more advanced jet bombers like the Boeing B-47 Stratojet and the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, which could go on to defy American strategic bombing capabilities during the Cold War. The first XB-43 prototype was eventually cannibalized for parts to support the second prototype and was later used as a target the second prototype has the longer service life, continuing flight testing until December 1953. By then, the United States Air Force has shifted its focus on more advanced jet bombers, leading to the cancellation of the XB-43 program. The surviving XB-43 was preserved and is now housed at the National Museum at the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it stands as a testament to a critical period of innovation in military aviation. The XB-43 Jetmaster remains a fascinating example of the experimental aircraft that pushed the boundaries of aviation during a time of rapid technological advancement. Despite its challenges and ultimately cancellation, the lessons learned from its development contributed to the evolution of modern jet bombers, securing its place in aviation history.